Hello everyone, this is Julianne. Thank you for stopping by and welcome to Maggie Holmes Monday. My friend Gwen Ruck from Cut to You Cut Files Shop and she's on the Coco Vanilla Studio design team. She does Maggie Holmes Monday where you use your Maggie Holmes stash new you know stash bust and make beautiful layouts using all of your maggie home stuff and i wrote to her and i said i want to do that too so she said yay go ahead so we're doing that today and i am going to use the bloom collection which i love my friend karen from yes please paper crafts gifted this to me so we're going to use this and then i decided that i was going to use this wooden background and I went ahead and put my picture together and I used all kinds of scraps to make all the background colors. I'll show you that. And I had a hard time deciding if I should use black and white or if I should go ahead and use color. But because we're going to use so many beautiful flowers, I went with color. So let me show you all the different layers that I put in there. And I just use bits and pieces and paper scraps like you wouldn't believe. And I die cut a couple flower things use some metal, using some metal dies. Look at hot mess. I even used the packaging. But it came out good. So that's okay. It's a good way to use up your scraps instead of throwing them in the garbage. So we're going to go ahead with this picture. And we're going to use these leaves. Do you remember these? I think these are from Bloom, but I lost the packaging, so I'm not sure. So I put some of that right here alongside the photo. And then we're also going to use some of these from Maggie Holmes. And I don't remember what this is from, so sorry about that. And then I'm going to go ahead and use the Bloom Alphas for my title. Okay, so let's get going. So we're going to use this background here. I think I'm going to put the picture right here. And then the first thing I want to do is I'm going to make a little cluster. So I'm going to use all these different pieces of ephemera here. So, and then here, use my fine liner glue bottle. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this together. That right on there. <clears throat> Give that a second to dry. How's everybody doing? I hope you had a nice weekend. It was good here. Did a lot of scrapbooking, laundry, and house cleaning. Always good to get your chores done, right? And I did go ahead and put this up on some foam squares because I wanted to raise it. I'm just going to cover up these numbers here. And then I'm thinking about putting a staple in so I have my Heidi Swap mini stapler. Let me see if I can get that in there. Just for a little interest. And I fussy cut these little teeny butterflies. I have a whole bunch of them out of the 6x8 paper pad of Bloom. So I'm just going to go ahead and pop this up right there. You know me, I have to use my tweezers because I drop everything. I'll go ahead and put my butterfly there, pop its little wings up for some dimension. Okay, there. Let that dry. We're going to put this down here. There's like a little cluster. So, remove the cat fur. I always have free cat fur on my scrapbook layouts. Okay, great. Now, what I did is I took this paper from the 12 by 12 paper pad and I fussy cut some of these blooms out, which I love this yellow color. So I'm just going to tuck these in there in an appealing manner to my eye. And maybe put one up here. I do know that I want to put my title right here. And I always fight with my alphas. I don't know. Do you guys fight with your alphas? I do. So I went ahead and got myself one of these thicker rulers. 
and it just helps me put my title together and have it be straight. So I know I want my title right there, but I don't want my title to hit this leaf. So I had to do a little pre-planning on space there. So I think that's good right where it is. Move that over just a tiny, tiny bit. All right, good. So then I went ahead and I used the metal die and I made this kind of like little rosette, sort of, out of the bloom paper. Then I was thinking about adding some more flowers. Oh, I should probably talk about the photo. I'm sorry about that. This is myself and this is my cousin. Totally love her. We're very, very similar. And this was a picture, a selfie we did together of us at our other cousin's wedding. So it's going to make a little cluster here and here in each corner. And then this is an extra leaf that I just used a metal die with the bloom paper. So I just felt like I needed another leaf over here. And then let me see. I'm going to go ahead and use this cute little thing. It says, hello, love, with some words on it. I think it was on the cut apart sheet in one of the 12 by 12 bloom papers. Just tuck that in a little bit there. Make sure my corners tucked in there because I don't like little gaps and empty spaces. And then there's just another little yellow thing with some lines on it from the cut apart sheet. And I'm going to tuck that in there. And then cute, look at this little tag that was in the ephemera pack. And I tied a little bow. It's got like a beige twine with some gold in it because I'm going to put I some gold here and I'm going to put some gold accents around the page. So I wanted to use this twine that had the gold in it. I pop that in here. It says XO on it because I love my cousin. Just kind of want that yellow sticking out just a little bit over here. I'm going to move that flower up again to cover up the corner right here. It's just the way I am with my stuff. Now, we have another flower here. So I think it would be cute to maybe put another flower under here. Let me see if I like that. Not digging that. Maybe we should make this crooked and not have it be so straight. Yeah, that's better. I like that. Good placement. Okay, we're going to go ahead with that. And then I think what I'm going to do is from that thicker sheet, I think that's what it's called, I'm going to add these gold flower leaves to the flowers. And just so you know, what I do is I leave them on the film that they come on and I cut it off the thicker sheet because I want to use it to audition my flowers just in case I don't want it to stick down in case I don't like it. I'm thinking about putting it up there just to have touches of gold. And then I do have this XO. Thinking about putting it right here on this flower. I think that looks adorable. And I'm going to go ahead and place butterflies all around the page because I love butterflies. I'm always putting my butterflies. And then if you've seen any of my videos before, you know that I'm going to end up putting the Pink Fresh Studio crystal gems um, scattered around my page because I just love those things and they end up on everything that I do. So, I like the placement of everything. I hope you guys like this too. I think it looks really pretty. So I usually leave things where they are. I'm going to make sure that I can see that that says hello love. Maybe tuck this in just a little bit more down like this. So I don't want it going off the paper. I'm not one of the people, it's not my style to have things go off the edge and then cut it. it just, I don't like it for some reason. I'm not happy with this. So let's put this down here. And then maybe tuck this underneath there. I think that's a little bit better, don't you? Yeah, I like that better. I hope you guys like that better too. And then maybe put that like that. 
I like that better. Cool. All right, so let's get things going. Let me get my tweezers out. Because with my nails, I'm always knocking stuff around. So I just take my fine liner. I go underneath things and just start gluing them together. So then I don't have to clear my page and start from scratch because I'll never remember where I put it. Thank you. Nope, I'm right. No glue came out. That's what's wrong. Okay, I was wondering why that kept moving. Okay, we got the glue to come out that time, guys. So I'm just going to line that up. So this tag is straight with the lines on the tag below it. And then hopefully tuck that back in without making a mess over here. A little bit of a mess. Yep. And this is why I use tweezers. All right, guys, let's try this one more time and hopefully it works. Yep, it worked that time. Good. So I just tied a little bow in my twine. I'm not good at doing that at all. So I always do that off camera because I always get in an argument with my twine. But I win after a couple minutes. And after I'm done and everything's placed where I want it, I do end up gluing the bow part down just so it doesn't move around once it gets in my album. All right, so let's get this straightened back around so I can make it kind of crooked, offset a little bit, but I still want to see Hello Love. Push that in. Okay, I'm going to glue these down. Kind of remember to fill that glue bottle so it doesn't make that noise. All right, there, we're cooking now. Got glue coming out. I stopped moving things all over my paper. All over my background. There, that's good. Good. Now let's make sure that my picture's straight before we start gluing that down. I'm going to go ahead and lift up just a little corner of this and put some glue down there just so it doesn't move on me. And then you'll notice here with my flower, I'm going to corner it. And instead of going like this, where you can see this space right here, I always tuck things in and then I make sure the leaf is right up against my photo because I don't like the corners of things to be showing. So I'm going to make sure there's no space there and I'm going to make sure that this leaf covers up the corner of that paper there. And then I'm going to go ahead and put some glue under there so it doesn't move. And then I'll also throw my leaf in there that I die cut. And I will end up popping the edges of these leaves and these flowers up on some foam squares off camera so I don't have to make you watch me do that. That's pretty boring. All right, I'm going to turn my page so it's easier for me to stick this stuff down over here. Okay, so I have this, like I said, exactly where I wanted it so my title fits. Oops, sorry, I'm off the screen. Sorry about that. And then we'll put this over here. And I'll put foam squares under these, under this, definitely under this. A little teeny splat of glue down there so that doesn't break. All right, let me turn my page back around. Okie dokie. Now, I'm trying to think. Let's put this in there before I forget that I want it. Flip this stuff up. Pop that in there a little bit. Yeah, that's pretty. Just like that. All right, we'll go ahead and take it off from its backing. Hopefully I get it in there without sticking it all over everything besides the page. Hmm, perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, that's stuck down. These are all stuck down. Let me get this leaf going over here. And I'm trying to think. Go ahead and put it just like that. Just so some of that pretty gold pops out from underneath everything over here. I'm going to put some glue under this because it's so thin, I'm afraid that I'll rip it and break it. There, perfect. And then I'm going to go ahead and put this little cluster down here. I think that's so pretty. I just love Maggie Holmes Ephemera. Honestly, it's just the coolest stuff. 
it doesn't really make any sense half the stuff that's in there but it's just so cool you end up using it anyways so i'll just put this over here to the side it's a little cluster on its own pop up my butterfly again his wings fell down all right there's that now i'm thinking about putting the xl right there yeah that's cute because of course i love my prima and that's going to be my title is prima and that is spanish for female cousin i believe i don't think i got that <laughs> incorrect yeah she is a spanish teacher so we call each other prima instead of cuz so now i'm gonna go ahead and put my title up in here and good i did leave enough space so i didn't hit that leaf and these stickers of course you know these are um this is an older collection and it's falling off my um ruler already so what i do is while it's on the ruler let me get that back on there hold on one second please while it's on the ruler, double check, make sure it's straight. I don't really think that's straight. There. And then I'm going to turn it around. I'm going to put just a couple little dots on my alphas. That way, you know it's not going to fall off your page once you go to put it in your album. So I'll use your ruler. I want to go right to the edge of the pattern paper there. Hold it down and then you just go ahead and lift up and pull your ruler out. Isn't this thing fantastic? It's easy to do that. You got everything straight. It's a good way to make sure you spell things correctly before you stick them down. Okay, guys, let's see. There was a couple of words in here that I wanted to use. And it says love this, but I already have love you down here. So I'm thinking the best day ever because it was because it was my cousin's wedding, not hers, a different cousin. And so I'm going to say best day ever. And I'm going to say laugh and cheer because we did. So I like to put my words, little sentiments, I guess. In the corner of my pictures and sometimes at least one two three I stack them on top of each other I don't really think that's centered let me see if I can get that back up without ruining my picture oh I can yay so I'll just center this one on top of that one press down perfect I'm going to lift this back up over here, which I forgot to put something down that I wanted to put down. So thankfully the glue is not 100% dry just yet. So I can go ahead and do that. So let me see if I can get my gold leaf back up again. I can. So I'm going to stick it to my hand so I don't lose it and break it. I totally forgot I wanted to do this. Remember these doilies? From Maggie Holmes, what was this? It's from Open Book. I found these in a drawer. I forgot they even had them. So they're white, and I think white would be too stark for this background because Maggie Holmes collection seems to be like an off-white cream-based background instead of white. So I went ahead and sprayed my doily with my Alt's New Ink Sprays, and I used Frosty Pink and Antique Gold. So, I'm going to stick that in there. Let me just move these. You'll never see where the glue was. And then um, I'll just re-glue them. Totally forgot I wanted to use that doily. Let me turn it around so you can see it. I'm going to make sure I get this placed the right way. Isn't it pretty? Let me do a close-up so you can see this beautiful ink spray. It's got like a shine to it. Isn't it pretty? I love it. I can't believe I forgot that. Well, actually, I can. I call it isolation brain. Being home this long, I keep forgetting things. So I'm just going to put some glue just in this doily part, not in here where you can see through those. Stick my picture back down, leaving the corner unglued so I can tuck my flowers back in. 
So I'll go ahead and put that in there. Lift this up. Push it over a little bit so it's not hitting my pee. And then put this back in here so it covers up that edge. So you can do is hide your edges of your fussy cut flowers. And I love doing that. And I want to make sure this is placed so that there's no weird spaces and that this doesn't go off the edge of my page. That's looking pretty good. So let me go ahead and re-glue that. Hold that down for just a second. And then I'll go ahead and put my leaf back in. Now that I don't know if I want it there now. Let me see. Let's try this. that back in there cute but now I feel like this is covering that so you know what we're gonna do I'm gonna go ahead and fussy cut that a little bit more so you can always change your mind there and now you can see that and then I'm just gonna take this and re-glue it back in there in a spot where I feel that I can still see this and use that. So go ahead and put some glue on the tips there. Stick it back under here. You'll never know the difference. I'm going to leave these unglued because I'm going to put foam squares underneath them. So there's my Prima layout. Now I have this bow. It's not Maggie Holmes. I can't remember. My friend Karen gave it to me as a gift. Oh, yeah. I think she picked them up at Tuesday morning from, and it's craft perfect. I was kind of thinking about putting a bow in here somewhere. I don't know. Maybe there. That looks all right. Or here. I'm not sure. I think it looks good in both places. Maybe I'll put it here because there's so much going on over here. Okay, go ahead and push that down. I'm going to put a bunch of butterflies all over my page. I fussy cut pink ones, yellow ones, all kinds of different ones. So I'll go ahead and bend that so the little uh, butterfly wings are up. I probably do end up putting little tiny, tiny foam squares on the wings before I put it in my album. That way they'll still give you some dimension after you put your page protector on. Oh, look, green ones. I should put some green on here to match the leaves so everything's not all pink. I think, yeah, that's cute. Let's put a green one over here. And then I'll show you close-ups at the end of the video because I always end up sticking on a few more butterflies and my Pink Fresh Studio gems, like I said. So let's put this one facing the flower and then I think that we need one up here too too much yellow on yellow so what can we use there another pink one or a green one let's do green that way we won't have yellow on yellow and it'll stand out more a little butterfly there Put a butterfly here. And I'll put a butterfly here. All right. Good. This layer came together pretty quickly. I did spend a little time fussy cutting and making that a different color ahead of time. I kind of feel like I need another butterfly over here, but if I do, this one's going to be too close to that one. So I'm going to think about that one off camera, maybe put it in a different spot. We'll see. So then I'm going to take just a scrap piece of paper, put it over my photo, and I'm going to use my Antique Gold Up to New ink spray and make some splatters. I just go right ahead and uh, stick my paintbrush right in the bottle. Nice to put it all over everything. I love splatters. There, perfect. Maybe a couple more over in here. 
perfect perfect back in my tray put the top on so I don't spill it everywhere and I think this splatter was a little bit big so we're gonna go in and dab that up a little bit you'll never know all right perfect now the only thing we have left to do is our date <clears throat> So I'm trying to think the best place to put the date. I'm thinking right up here above hello love, or I could put it sideways here. That seems kind of odd to put it sideways. So I think I'll go ahead and put it there. So I just, I have my alt new crisp inks in black and I always practice on a spare piece of paper ahead of time. Yep, September 14, 2019. I think this is a Heidi Swap date stamp. I'm not sure. And the September, I always have to wipe the black ink off the side before I put that down. Hopefully this comes out good. It's always a risk, isn't it, when you do your st date stamp? Oh, it came out perfect. I'm so excited. Don't we get excited about little things? All right, guys, there you go. So I'll put some final pictures at the end for Maggie Holmes Monday. And give you some close-ups, and I'll put my little crystal gems, probably some more butterflies, knowing me. I'm obsessed with little teeny butterflies on my layouts. And I'll pop some stuff up on some foam squares. And I hope you enjoyed this. And if you want to go ahead and join Maggie Holmes Monday, please do. Even if you're doing it off-camera on your own, go ahead and scrap your Maggie Holmes stash. Thank you very much for stopping by. Have a good week. Bye.